Okay, so um, I'm making a YouTube video today, um, as I've heard a lot in the press about um, anxiety and uh, a huge increase in the number of people with it. Now, I had anxiety back in 2008, uh, and back then, um, not so many people seem to have it. It's sort of becoming more common um, with pressure and uh, modern day stress. Um, it's an awful problem, and uh, yeah, it's uh, to be um, going through it in the early stages is is really not nice. So I feel for anybody who's got it now and has uh, has come across my video. So um, obviously you, you found the right place. Um, I, I used to have it, and now I've um, fully beaten it and uh, live a normal life, I'm not affected by it in any way, shape, or form, and. Um, managed to beat it without any sort of medication as well, um, which was um, which is what I wanted to do. Um, part of the problem was when I first got diagnosed and had my first panic attack, I didn't actually know that it was um, anxiety that I had. Um, obviously, when you have your first episode, you, you don't realise what it is because it's um, new to you. And it can freak you out a little bit. Like my first episode happened at a, a drive-through KFC. Um, I just come over dizzy, hot, couldn't speak, found it hard to breathe. Um, it was absolutely horrendous. Um, I got in a real state and literally thought I was going to die. And you know, my my mind started running away with me. And uh, after my first episode, I wasn't right for a couple of days. Um, but didn't know what it was, uh, got paranoid, went to the doctors, had blood tests, um, I was in perfect health apart from what was going on, you know, um, I'd relive the panic attack in my head day after day, hour after hour, tr trying to work out what caused it, and, you know, um, getting paranoid, but I didn't know at that stage that it was anxiety, um, and it took me probably about six months to work out what it actually was. Now, once I finally realised what it was, um, I tried everything to cure it. I tried all the, the things on the internet, all the quick cures and blah, blah, blah. I, I'd done it all, basically. And in a nutshell, there's no instant get 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 well quick. You know, it's not, it's not going to happen. It's like a broken leg. If you, um, if you break your leg, you can't expect to walk in it the next day. You know, you... You have a cast on it takes a couple of months however it takes to heal and it's the same with uh, anxiety it's going to take a while to heal and uh, just like a, a broken leg you're not going to fix it by walking on it it's only going to make it worse um, obviously with the condition with your with your mind and your head you're not going to get it back better by uh, trying to think it better all you're going to do is make it worse and, and make yourself more tired and uh, it, it doesn't really help to be honest so um, I'm here to just give you a few tips, what I found useful. I've set up my own website as well, which is um, www.anxiety-gone.com. Um, that's got my full story all about my first attack and um, everything that I found useful to, you know, to make me better, really. Um, I've done a lot, you know, like my symptoms. Um, Dizziness was the worst one I had, like I would be constantly dizzy, um, it was absolutely awful. Um, I wouldn't be able to walk in a straight line, I couldn't go in crowded places with people, um, all sorts of stuff really. Um, but what I'd done was uh, I'd, I'd have a beer, a pint if I was out to try and settle me down and generally that worked um, and the more I drunk um, on a night out, the more I forgot about it and felt like my normal self. So you can imagine where this led me. Um, I'd start to drink a little bit more, you know, go out thinking, yeah, this is great, back to me, yeah. But with great highs come great lows. So the next day as the alcohol's wearing off and the reality of having anxiety kicks in, it can make it a whole heap worse. So, you know, my hangovers were a thousand times worse and, you know, I'd be dizzy for like a whole day and I couldn't do anything and, you know, it would be absolutely awful. Um, so it's it's really not good and like I said it affected every aspect of my life I sort of lost friends, I didn't go out, I couldn't go in crowded places I'd freak out, I'd be imagining that I would be about to pass out what would happen, 
it's going to be so embarrassing and I'm going to collapse and everyone's going to see me What's going? am I going to die in public and my body's just going to be laying here it, it, all sorts of crazy things would go through my head and, and when an attack comes on it's like oh shit I'm about to die or whatever you know it, it's different for everybody but that was from my experience um, and um, mine didn't get better for, for any time you know I lived with it for sort of like two years like I said we've bought into all sorts of stupid internet scams about beat it now beat it you know overnight and it, it doesn't happen um, there's just so uh, and it's different different things work for different people as well you need to be able to talk to people and um, see what works for you I mean for me for example I was taking on far too much um, I would work until 12 o'clock at night and drink Red Bull for example high in caffeine I'd get a lack of sleep I'd be drinking alcohol um, and putting myself under immense pressure really um, keeping up with the Joneses, trying to live a lifestyle I couldn't afford pretty much um, and just generally not being in a good place and it sort of, you know, it, it all built up so um, it does just creep up on you and it can affect anybody and it can come from nowhere so obviously um, the, the most important thing to do is to recognise that you've got a problem and try and get it sorted out, you know, like I said, like today I've got certain things that I've had to sort of cut back on because I know it causes me problems but um, they're, they're triggers for me like obviously two cups of tea like because it's got caffeine in it coffee um, these sorts of things can really bring it on so if, if I'm feeling particularly stressed or something you know I won't drink large amounts of tea or coffee because I know it's going to make me prone to an episode so um, learning to cut things out of your diet as well you know can really help like you don't want to be eating junk food you want to have a nice diet you know there's there's lots of things and um, even ranging from having a supportive partner because you know it can really really affect you if your partner doesn't support you, you you're going to be fighting a losing battle you need to have the support of your family or a loved one because you know, there was times when I was out in, in like a shopping centre, for example, I felt very strange and all of a sudden, you know, you think everybody's looking at me, oh God, am I going to pass out, like, I feel dizzy, oh my God, and then, you know, you're not even there, you just want to get out of the shopping centre and your partner doesn't realise what's going on and they think it's them and you can't explain to them because that makes it worse and it's sort of... Uh, it's a, it's a really horrible place to be in and, and there's such stigma to having this stuff and um, for me um, I, I'd, I'd put it out there you know I've had the problem and um, you know I'm not ashamed of it it's because it's a modern day problem you know it's, um, it's going to affect loads of people and hopefully doing a video like this will help people out and you know help people get over it you know because it's a it's a horrible place and I wouldn't wish it on anybody you know but it, like I said it's you can recover just like I did I'm, my half my battle was <clears throat> I needed to find somebody that I could relate to and to see that somebody's actually beating it and the problem was all the forums and everything that I was going in um, I wasn't getting any of that like people were just talking about their problems and setbacks and, and whatnot and it's part of the process you, you get setbacks along the way um, I had loads of setbacks, you know, you, th you have a great week and you think, I've cracked it, brilliant, I'm, I'm back to being me, um, and then all of a sudden, you have one incident, and, and that's all it is, it's just a setback, it's just a good day, bad day, you know, it happens, but over time they become uh, less frequent, and you know, you, you have good days, and you know, and before you know it, you, you don't have anything, and you can be in a position where you say, I used to have anxiety, I, I don't have it, but you've got to you know look to get that mindset you know and also surround yourself with um, uh, positive people who are going to help you out understanding people and uh, y you can you can you can do it you know like I mean like I said I'm just a regular guy heard a lot on the radio today so just thought I'd make a video try and help some people out you know I've, the stuff I've done before I had anxiety I mean it was a wake-up call to me I was just uh, working too much, abusing my body, um, you know, and, and, and the good thing is I'm even happier now because I appreciate myself more now, you know, um, so the good news is that you can sort of overcome it and you've got a positive as in to look forward to, I mean, the, the good thing from me is that 
I'm even better now than what I was before I had anxiety because you appreciate things so much more, you know. Um, just give you an example, like I've got two children now, I've got like a four year old and a one year old, you know, they're um, they're amazing, I absolutely love them to bits. I've got an amazing girlfriend, I've got a house, you know, which is it's, it's okay, you know, I, I built it myself, which I never thought I'd be able to do years ago. Um, and as crazy as it sounds, I was on a TV show as well um, in August 2013. I'll put a link down there as well, so you can have a look at that to see. Uh, like I said, I'm just a regular guy. You know, you can tell from <laughs> from me being on TV that I um, I, don't, I don't suffer from it anymore. You know, and I didn't tell the production company what I had. You know, when I got cast because. It's, it's, it's in my past, you know, and I've gone on now and I can do these things and uh, as time goes by you'll also be able to do the same and, you know, hopefully this will help, um, but in a nutshell, you've just got a tired mind, just like if you run a race, you'd have a tired body and you'd rest your body after a race, give it time to recover, same is with anxiety, you've got a tired mind, you need to rest it and you need to learn techniques, how to, um, how to clear your mind. Um, I don't want to babble on for too long on here, but I guess it's kind of easier to, to watch this than to read load of stuff because, again, it's tiring. This is probably quite easy to watch, but uh, learn to free your mind. Try yoga. Um, watch films that you're into. You need to try and switch off and, and don't fight it anymore. And you're not going to think yourself better. That's the most important thing because a lot of people get in a situation where they just try and think themselves better. I've got to become the old me, I need to get back to the old me for the sake of X, Y and Z, it's not going to happen, you need to um, just accept what you've got, um, don't fight the faults, let them come in one ear and go out the other ear because, you know, like I said, don't battle with them, when you get these negative faults coming, just tell yourself, this is anxiety, like, it's nothing, right, you're coming in one ear and you're going out the other ear, you, you can beat it, like I said, it's I'm perfectly fine and... Um, haven't had any episodes for like two years, you know, but like I said, if, if I went downstairs now, had 10 cups of tea, caused myself loads of stress, I'd start to wobble again, but it's just just part and parcel of it. I know that I can't do that now, but it's it's just part of um, anxiety, I guess. And um, that's it pretty much. I hope the videos help you out, and if you need any tips or anything like that, you know, please contact me, just drop us an email, post down there, and I'll, I'll try to reply to you as and when I can. Um, yeah, hopefully it's helped out. And like I said, stay, stay calm. Don't panic. Um, stop searching all the blogs for a, for a, for an overnight cure because it's not going to happen. Um, don't panic. You're not about to drop down dead. You're, you're fine. It's just it's, it is what it is. It's anxiety, and uh, you can beat it. But stop being a victim to it, and you can live a normal life just like I have, perfectly normal now. And I've been through everything you've got. Like I said, any questions? Let me know. I'll come back to you. Thanks ever so much.